Colonel David Chu, born on December 30th, 1904, is a Medal of Honor recipient for his leadership shown in the Battle of Tarawa. He was a commanding officer of all Marine Corps troops on the Tuera Atoll, as well as Batillo Island and the Gilbert Island. He received his medal for exposing himself to enemy fire and for leading and inspiring his troops into the heavily guarded island. After severely wounding his leg by an exploding shell, he conducted strong attacks against the constant Japanese fire and worked without rest for two days to ensure that the Americans won the battle. The Japanese had control of a large island, the island of Tarawa. The island was a key location because it served as a gateway between the U.S. and the Central Pacific. The battle lasted from November 20th to November 23rd, 1943. The island of Tarawa was defended by 4,500 Japanese troops and was heavily fortified. The Japanese commander bragged that the fort was so fortified that the U.S. couldn't take Tarawana with a million men in a hundred years. The island was also surrounded by a coral reef that made it difficult for boats to pass through unless it was high tide. The United States realized this and delayed their attack until it was high tide. Unfortunately, for some reason this day, the tide did not rise enough for the boats to clear the reef, which meant that the troops had to wade through chest deep water in the face of enemy fire in order to reach the island. By the end of the first day, the United States took the shore, but they lost 1,500 Marines in the process. The tide continued to be a problem for the U.S. troops until noon of the second day. They continued to suffer he heavy casualties due to enemy snipers up until this point. Once the boats got through, though, the Marines were able to destroy vital parts of the Japanese defenses. A bomb landed outside the building that many of the Japanese officers and commanders were inside, and the Japanese had command problems for the rest of the battle. Fighting continued for a third day as most of the Japanese soldiers decided to fight to the death rather than surrender to United States forces, even when it was clear that they were going to lose the fight. In the end, 1,696 Americans were killed and 2,101 were wounded, while 4,690 Japanese were killed and only 17 Japanese chose to surrender. For the next week, the Marines continued to move through the remaining islands in the Pacific and take control of them. The battle was also a huge morale boost for the United States because Terra was one of the most heavily fortified islands in the Pacific Ocean. They also learned from many of their mistakes at the landing. They started the UDT, the Underwater Demolition Team, that later became a part of the Navy SEALs. They worked in situations such as water landings, so situations like this do not happen in the future. A few inventions also came out of this, including the invention of a waterproof radio.